The deep state is now officially deep sixing any information that it dislikes. In conjunction with tech behemoths like Google, the World Wide Web, which was once revered for its easy access to the free flow of information, is now being filtered by information gatekeepers. That's right, this is no longer an InfoWars conspiracy theory, this is a conspiracy fact. Eric Schmidt, who is the executive chairman of Google's parent company, Alphabet, says the company will engineer specific algorithms to target articles coming from sites like RT and Sputnik, and then make those less prominent on the search engine's new delivery services. See, they're not going to outright ban these sites. That would be a little too Orwellian. It would get too much attention. So what they're going to do is use their absolute power as the information gatekeepers to just hide these sites from your view in perpetuity. So this is Mr. Don't Be Evil, Eric Schmidt. He says he's very against censorship. That's not how we operate. Well, what in the damn doublespeak? Because this algorithm serves essentially the exact same function as censorship. Now this is Eric Schmidt. He is a longtime friend of Hillary Clinton as well as Barack Obama. He was a digital campaign advisor for both of them. He actually set up an individual website to help Hillary Clinton win the election. <laughs> that didn't happen. He's very upset about it and now he's actually hinting at the fact based on what we saw last year the public can't be trusted to distinguish between fake news and real news. So now his company is just gonna do the work for you and filter it for you. I'm sure there's gonna be no political motive behind it going into 2018 and of course 2020. Here's a good idea. The fact that the CEO of search engine monopoly Google has publicly admitted to censorship by algorithm means they should be subject to FOIA requests now. Who else are they censoring from public discourse? Indeed, because if they admit that they're censoring anyone, it means they're censoring everyone. And this brings us to the fight for net neutrality. Now, InfoWars has previously documented how Google, together with George Soros' Open Society Institution and the Ford Foundation, spent more than $72 million promoting the idea that the Internet needs to be regulated by the government as a common carrier public utility under the Communications Act. They were really pushing out this narrative, scaring the majority of people, saying, oh, you're not going to have access to the internet because these common carriers like Verizon and AT&T are going to force you to buy internet in, in bundles, in packages. So if you can't afford a certain tier, then you won't be able to access certain information. Right? But ironically, since these 2015 rules were put in place, instances of blocking and censoring have only occurred at a rapid pace on these platforms like Google and Facebook and Twitter. All of these internet giants lobbied hard for these 2015 net neutrality rules. They were heavily pushed by Google and Facebook in hundreds of these closed door meetings with the Obama White House. We saw Zuckerberg and Eric Schmidt going in and out hundreds of times, but these regulations were carefully crafted to exempt these companies from the net neutrality rules. This was a massive power grab that secured their position as the absolute information gatekeepers. So what does this mean? Regulating the internet as a common carrier public utility under the Communications Act. The Communications Act is the same regulatory framework that was crafted decades ago to regulate rotary phones. Most people don't even know what a phone that used to plug into the wall looks like. Why would the Silicon Valley giants want to regulate the internet under this same rules and classification. Well, basically, uh, this would exempt companies like Google and Facebook and others from the very strict regulation that the FCC would apply to common carriers. So the common carriers, they're basically targeting the original core networks like Verizon and AT&T, these big carriers of the internet. They're gonna be strictly, strictly regulated while the content carriers like Facebook, YouTube, Google, they will be exempt from this regulation. These content carriers are allowed to censor the information first and then force, thanks to the net neutrality rules, force the common carriers to carry their censored 
internet information. They can't fight back against, well, hey, you're only giving us half the story here. No, they're forced to do it because they're being strictly regulated by the FCC, but the content carriers by design are totally exempt from these rules. This is why it is insane and why we've only seen uh, an influx of censorship and uh, <laughs> content blockage since these net neutrality rules came into place. This Wednesday, FCC Chairman Asia Pai is expected to make public a draft of a new FCC order. It's widely anticipated to eliminate the net neutrality rules that were put in place under the Obama administration. Uh, Chairman Pai has been very outspoken in the past against net neutrality for the simple fact that it's important for all humans. It's not a political thing. It's important for all of us to be able to access information easily on the internet without it being uh, regulated and censored and filtered through these gatekeepers who have a very obvious political agenda when it comes to deciding what's news. Now, the fact that this is being made public, this draft, means that there is an opportunity for you to go and leave your comments in support of this new draft. This is a major shift away from the former administration that liked to keep all their little wheeling and dealing tightly under wraps so that the public wouldn't know what was coming their way. Uh, Chairman Pai is, is leaving this open to the public so that we have about a month to let them know uh, if we are in support of this or not. So go to the FCC's website, comment, show your support, understand it's being totally bombarded by bots and trolls right now, no doubt paid by George Soros himself. So you've got to go there and allow your voice to be heard as the American public. Let them know that we want out of these internet ghettos and we don't want our information to be filtered by these freaks like Eric Schmidt and Mark Zuckerberg. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.